like the entebbe rescue by the israelis in uganda and the american failure complete failure in the iranian yes, desert in 1980 yes sir so this presentation brings about the story of operation cactus so how Did is it that it was not no, known to anybody even uh, people working in air force also very few people even in agra So the families and everybody knew that something is happening. Was about 20 AN 32s got airborne for Yalahanka. Sir. Another 15 AN 32s went to AFA, but the and so many IL 76s took off. So uh -huh. people knew that something is happening. Sir. Otherwise, at late at night, uh -huh. IL 76s and AN 32s don't take off. Okay. But do look at one thing. Our first attempt at strategic intervention was successful. We got it right. So much of it could have gone wrong, and so much of it actually did go wrong. In fact, despite all the challenges of not knowing anything at all. So just imagine. Suppose the refueling had been delayed by a few more hours. Maybe the president could. Yeah, they could have got the advantage. Could have been taken. Rebels could have got the advantage if there was any time given. In either case, if president was captured yes, or the sir. runway was taken. that gentleman operation cactus would have failed but this is how operations are invariably conducted yeah, really fascinating to... story sir we never knew about it and uh, quite inspiring and amazing the amount of planning has gone into and the meticulous uh, execution strategically you rightly said uh, it's a first of its kind a unique uh, success to air force and army as well for the para brigade and our il76 squadron commanded by you so hats up to you sir from all our air veterans association very kind of you know, <laughs> gentlemen i am so glad at least today we could go through <laughs> we were able to finish again despite some hackers coming in between <laughs> i know they come in in the presentation not in the talking yeah thank, thank you so much sir you. and thank you and very kind of you very generous of you for the time you have given so panta so far we have been thinking of our air superiority in 1971 but uh, you uh, pilots like you proved that uh, we could do anything with the kind of training we have received initiatives we take and you know brave brave efforts we put in so everything is possible and uh, this fitness of action uh, resulting in a great success really a great thing sir and great thing you, without any bloodshed you. without any bloodshed from outside ah that like i said we were extremely fortunate but people were brave they took all the precautions yeah. Yes, sir. Made sure that there is no first time. Also, first time we had how the planning is done, how meticulously, step by step, stage by stage, who to what, do what. Really, really interesting and fascinating story that you narrated, sir. So, thank you so much. Now, let us take take some questions from uh, some of our participants, like our Karnik. Please, sir. if anybody has questions, I'll. Karnik, sir, I would like to uh, senior most person, Karnik, sir, and Krishnamurthy, sir, sir. Yeah, thank you, Anand. Explained so very vividly that virtually I am amazed at the <laughs> whole coordination carried out by you people, led by you. And thanks because I also didn't know all these things. Really speaking, <laughs> all have been educated on this Malay operation. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. So it was like you know we are all students and you are like giving a lecture on some important topic. It was like that. Such a passionate. You know, and so very vividly. <laughs> yes, you know, sir. Very vivid. vividly explained. step wise methodically that virtually reach one of us particularly those of us who are involved in aviation <laughs> uh, we have uh, no no we have understood the whole situation the scenario great uh, anand thank you thank you sir mere ko sikhaya kisne hai aap logon ne <laughs> of course thank you sir uh, great leadership skills exhibited by you sir uh, thank you so much yeah now we have become under krishnamurthy also sir the ah. man who who witnessed the surrender ceremony yes always 71 means to unmute sir unmute hey krish hi good evening yes thank sir you, you so much anand taken us with you to play in the il 76 and bring us back and they to back date it really <laughs> really
Thank you, sir. Now I think I'd like to request Patek sir to also interact. So he is the one who tried twice to bring our uh, Peyot sir onto the call. Patek sir. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. Hmm. And this is the first time we are hearing something from a transport pilot. <laughs> All along, we had only fighter fighter pilots giving their story, and uh, we had uh, no occasion. And I think, sir, you might remember that I was after you for a very very long time. <laughs> I think maybe past six months. I am trying to get you. but some of you had some problems yourself physical problem but finally we could make it and i am so happy it was so educative we didn't know what was happening in how the things were in transport aircraft during operations but you have given us a wonderful uh, sequence uh, now the things are very clear it's a excellent education to us sir and uh, thanks is just thanks is not enough for you it is so much we are honored by your pre- nice presentation thank you yeah. so much very so, kind uh, yeah and out to get to one yeah we have another we check around sir our uh, vinkamad quatra sir on the call sir would like to interact vinkamad quatra sir uh, good evening uh, everybody and good evening uh, mr bhavu yeah good evening sir i i must say amazing amazing the you have uh, brought out so beautifully operation tactics which you carried out over mali those days i was in call and we heard something that one secret mission was carried out and those the commandant was a uh, air marshal uh, uh, pondi jackma and subsequently he told us but not so beautifully he could explain what actually took place and it is amazing and i'm so happy that transport pilots also carry out carry out these type of amazing and secret missions so far as uh, your landing at Hoyles is uh, there. I once landed in Patek in 1973. They used to land at Hoyles from Pathan Port. So I had taken a lift and landed over. But the picture which you have shown brought back all those memories. Amazing. I can say that maza aagya aap sab. Really maza aagya. Really. Thank you, thank you, Quatra. Thank yes, you, sir. Sir. thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Vinkam uh, Quatra, sir. Yeah, Balinga, sir. Would like to share something again. Those intruders are trying to come again and again, again, but we are not allowing them this time. We are under, okay. we are under control. <laughs> sir, it's a great learning for I think every one of us. We were some of some of us uh, already mentioned with the transport aircraft. This particular mission, we were unaware all these days. Actually, it's a it's a really we are proud of Indian Air Force. The, we have a dreaded pilot who carried. Out numerous operation. I mean, I mean, uh, and then that too successful. And U.S. is one of them. We feel we are really proud, sir. We are really proud, and um, it's a great learning today for me at least. So thank you very much, and then uh, wish you all the best in your journey ahead, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> very generous of you. Very generous. <laughs> thank you, sir. Balinga, sir. Again, we have Rajinder Singh ji from. Uh, he's a general manager from Chandigarh. General manager, sir. Back. Yeah. Sir Beu sir uh, group captain Beu sir good evening to you good evening. good evening to everybody all my seniors i'm corporal rajendra singh okay i sir in 1988 that time i was in uh, alg advanced landing ground mizoram in nagaland and we read in the newspaper that this operation has been carried out Achha. so <laughs> i never knew that uh, somewhere in 2022 i'll be interacting with the <laughs> leader of the two plon this is a great day for me also and sir one question when you reach there at hulhule with you were having certain amount of fuel suppose that uh, landing strip was captured by the rebels what was the plan b what they had planned was that we come back to trivandrum if we did not get the code word okay we come so back to landing. trivandrum ah we okay. don't land without the code word we don't land Okay. okay. We come back to Trivandrum, and then they will decide whether to attempt a para drop, yes, or to go by surface vessels, do an amphibious landing, and uh, that kind of a thing. But okay. ours was very clear: if you don't hear the code word, you come back to Trivandrum. Okay. okay, that yes, much sir. fuel was available in the aircraft. Yeah, but it was also their plan. They had also their plan. Had enough fuel to go there, come back. That's why we got 62 tons. I could have come okay. back to Trivandrum and diverted to Bangalore. That much fuel I had. Great, okay, sir. sir. Thank you. Thank and you, Rajendra. As regards yeah. presentation, sir, uh, this was something uh, very uh, systematically, and I think nobody will forget this. Yeah, methodically, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'll share the link. 
there, I mean, there was some technical learning also like uh, how the aircraft is flying north to south and south to north and how are they maintaining that height there is something technical learning in that for all uh, of us yeah. thank you uh, sir yeah thank you rajender ji subhash chandra bose garu very uh, good evening sir uh, i have one small uh, technical clarification of this uh, secret mission uh, any aircraft which is flying particularly crossing the pdrs as you have mentioned that uh, i mean uh, southeast and uh, the pdrs which were uh, crossing the uh, southern sector of uh, india in the pdrs when definitely when there is a secret mission or a mission crossing the pdrs will have a air defense clearance so was there any air defense clearance was given to this while crossing the pdrs P- point number 1 point number 2 when you are crossing the pdrs particularly the uh, you are on a secret mission supposed to maintain a air force alpha channel air force god channel in the rt communication and uh, the international pdrs when you are crossing should be onto the charlie channel of international rt channel how did you actually manage this secret mission with reference to the international pdrs crossing with the air defense clearance and rt channel uh, charlie international channel and the air force god channel alpha channel how you have actually handled that much of distance which you are actually crossing over sir thank tell me okay let me let me try and answer all your questions while flying within india when we were crossing the pdrs or the airways we were flying agra to trivandrum a very simple straight forward innocent mission so every time i cross the airway i gave a position report to bhopal nagpur hyderabad bangalore and so on on there is no hf now we were not maintaining hf because i am in vhf the main problem was only crossing checkpoint noket now trivandrum knew the time at flight level 370 he did not know there is a second aircraft as far as officially it was concerned because gill did not speak to trivandrum we kept a look out because all traffic going east west will not be at our flight level and trivandrum did not because we told trivandrum our eta no okay and trivandrum had information of all flights going east west if there was anything which would have disturbed us he would have informed us but i did not uh, report no okay but we listened out on trivandrum frequency so that if there was any traffic going trying to talk to trivandrum and report noket i would have monitored it as far as alpha channel is concerned there were no ground units in that sector on alpha so i did not keep in touch on the alpha channel i was in touch on hf with one aeroplane at agra and okay. through them we kept a contact and telling them where we are how far we have reached all is well you can tell people in agra aircraft has landed safely got airborne from there safely and we have come to trivandrum so that is how we maintained whatever secrecy we could and yet trivandrum knew there is an aeroplane going like this so he would have given us traffic for me flight level 37 that is how i managed i hope i have been able to answer your yes sir uh, it is very clear sir because the alpha is uh, totally switched off and uh, charlie you are keeping it monitoring with the uh, that also when we were uh, near to the uh, tower somewhere near to trivandrum otherwise you are on hf communication to give the your position and your uh, i mean rather uh, to, to our own HF. unit to our own, own unit i was so that, never on so our... that means adc was not given to you sir in that case no there was no adc adc was given to me to go from agra to trivandrum that's all yeah that is within the country within the country <laughs> within i the... got the answer sir because it oh. is a very multiplication of the things in a secret mission how you do really overcome across the international channels and uh, international things so that now without mm-hmm. adc it has been crossed and after the crossing the border rather trivandrum trivandrum uh, you have been totally uh, you can say a kilo or a faker or a unknown track. yes we were we were we were a ghost aircraft and yes. everything was ram maros thank you sir thank you thank point you. is clear Ask you uh, one question, Quatra. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have you written uh, any book on this? Um, I see. I make a presentation along with Brigadier Joshi and uh, uh, Commodore Gokhale. We make a tri-service presentation 
at places like Staff College and Army War College and so on, on this operation. A book on Operation Cactus has been written by Group Captain Chordia PJI, Parachute Jumping Instructor, who flew with us on the, in the first aircraft because the, the plan was that if we can't land, we'll come back to Trivandrum and modify aeroplanes, AN-32s will come and something like that will happen if the landing was a failure. So he has written a book under the auspices of CAPS. Okay. That book is available in the market. Okay. But Thank I you. have not written a book because I, I made this presentation first in 1990 at Staff College along with Brigadier Joshi for the benefit of the students of Staff College. That was the idea to make. It has grown into this kind of a presentation. I have not written a book. Mere mein dam nahi hai. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and in any case, this chap has written the book on Operation Cactus. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, Rajendraji or Bhavani Shankar, if you would like to ask anything, otherwise we are going to close. Sir, one, one comment I will say. Sir is saying that uh, he, he, he mere mein dam nahi hai for writing the book, but the presentation is so fantastic. I think he can very well write the book. Yes, of course. Yeah, he can reconsider <laughs> writing a book like our part I think we request him to reconsider two books this. within two months. Let me see. Let me see. Let me let me give I think I, I request Patak Garu also to help him with his knowledge in book writing. Oh, sir, sir, sir. Hello. I have been only compiling. I have been only compiling. <laughs> no, even author. even I am not an author. No, it's, a great, it's, it's a great it's a great effort, sir. Great great experience yeah. to write something. <laughs> I want to ask him one more thing, sir, if yes, you don't sir. mind. Yes, yes, sir. Go ahead. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have mentioned in earlier slide that even Seven Squadron Mirage also took part in the uh, took uh, part in this operation. Yes. So could you briefly tell us what was their role in this? See, uh, I don't, see their role was they never took part in the operation. Basically, okay. what happened was Alpha Flight 7 Squadron was activated okay. and six Mirages or eight Mirages went to Trivandrum. Standby, as a kind of standby. Not standby because they did not know the strength of the rebels. Oh. They did not know what is happening on the island. Yeah. Suppose our troops had to do an amphibious landing or the Navy had to go there. Who will give them air support? Okay. okay. We did not know whether there were any other countries involved with the rebels, any countries of Africa. Oh. Okay. okay. So nothing was known about these rebels. Finally, it came to be known that the Tamils of Eastern Lanka plot people's liberation of Tamil Elam. Elam, yes. And uh, along with these few of these Maldivian people, they got together because plot was basically Eastern Lanka and they were being tokoed by the LTT and by the Lankans. So they were looking for a safe place out of Lanka. So they thought Maldives may jayenge. You know, Maldives is close to Lanka, 600 kilometers. Yes. So that is what we came to know later. But on 3rd November, we knew nothing. Absolutely okay. nothing. We were busy in Lanka with IPKF. So Alpha Flight went there. Air Marshal Vaidya was then CEO. He took yes. these boys there, flew there. And then after about 4-5 days, they came. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. you so much, sir. Thank you so much. So, it's a great pleasure. And uh, the way you have uh, narrated the entire air operation for the first time by the our Patek uh, uh, transport uh, pilot. It's really uh, fascinating, interesting and inspiring, sir. The leadership skills you have shown, the meticulous planning and everything uh, strategically executed without causing any damage to uh, uh, any of our troops. Mr. Really Rao, uh, fantastic. Mr. Yes, sir. Rao. You That's must remember that I had a fantastic team oh. in flight commander, nav leader, gunnery leader, the engineering officer. Without all these people, nothing would have happened. Yes. Leadership also matters, sir. Leadership matters. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. But these guys, what they did for me while I was CEO, I cannot write enough about those people who were with me. Oh. It's always team effort, sir. And inspired by the team uh, team leader. That's how all our uh, we check uh, all our great pilot. I mean fighter pilots also acknowledge the amount of contribution made by the crew, technicians, and all those people. Oh, those people did a fantastic. Yes, sir. Yes. Can I say one sentence? Can I say yes, one sentence? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Briefly. Sir, sir, as you mentioned that you uh, you cannot write. But then my <laughs> appeal or urge to you, sir, you can narrate and somebody record that. And then that book can be released. You are oh, nowadays it is so easy. 
So, Dick, if, if you Narashan start talking, is, na, there is a software also. It types by itself automatically. Yeah. Narration, <laughs> is, your narration is so wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And it's very amazing and thrilling for us. So, kindly do that so that it will it will be, I mean, a lot of incoming uh, generation will learn from this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. it may not be a big book, sir. At least a Momayar kind of thing, briefly about the operations. <laughs> you people are encouraging me to do it. Mere mein josh bar rahe ho. स्टोरी <laughs> In, in fact, I would like to share some of my photos from Maldives. So fascinating yes. that archipelagos, so such a pristine waters and beauty and all those things. Oh. So, I'll share. so beautiful, so beautiful was the narration. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Point okay. number two is he say any time when when everything goes good, he say we are very lucky. <laughs> Please remember, yeah. that is totally on the preparation. Of what course, is yes, on sir. ground. In, Undoubted. In relation to the air force. What is on ground? More you prepare, prepare more. Expect uh, easy less. Becomes. Success is yours. DV talked about the helicopter operation in the seventy one, where we had nil, nil, uh, unserviceability problem, nil yes, casualty. Sir. Why? Yes, there sir. was a certain amount of preparation. So similarly, by the ground crew, by the air crew, by all related people. So this is what one example again. In nineteen eighty eight, what happened there in Malay from Agra? is a great example of what could happen if you prepare on ground yes sir yes thank you so much sir again thank you so much sir thank you so much group captain beur sir for thank your uh, wonderful depiction of your uh, that that experiences so, so far secret it was but uh, we are very uh, elated to know the entire story and how army and navy uh, conducts the operations by pre- joint preparations so thank you so much sir our aviators association is real indebted to you for you sparing lot of time and giving a, a beautiful presentation and That's your presentation is so great even others introduce us also interested to come and join you <laughs> 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 yes sir thank you so much sir thank you and thank you so much sir right thank you thank you so much sir.